Welcome to Enabling Your Custom Attributes in Magento's Layered Navigation. In this tutorial, we will show you how to configure your business's custom attributes to display on Magento's out-of-the-box layered navigation pages. We will leverage Magento categories and Magento attributes. Before we move on, let's talk a little bit about Bluefish. We've been building solutions for over 15 years. Our primary areas of expertise include e-commerce, web experience management, web content management, and enterprise document management. We tailor software to meet our clients' business needs. Our motto is, we believe companies deserve to have it done right the first time. So let's get started. First, we're going to go to our site. We're going to use um, Madison Island for the demo. It's configured currently to not show any layered navigation options on our category shoes. Now, let's go change that. So in order to change this, we would like to display some layered navigation over here on this side. So to change that, we're going to go to Magento Admin. First, we're going to set some global layered navigation rules. To do that, you go to System, Configuration, and once in System Configuration, you will go to Catalog. And under Catalog, you will see an area that says Layered Navigation. Here where you can set display product count and your price navigation steps. Price is something you can display in your layered navigation so you can set it to specific price ranges you would like. We're going to leave it automatic, but we are going to display pr product count. So what this will do will show how many products match each criteria with, when we enable layered navigation. Let's save the configuration. Now, let's go over to our shoe category. You go to Catalog, Manage Categories. Going to open up our shoes. What you need to do with this is under the tab Display Settings, there's an option Is Anchor. Set Anchor to Yes. And also at the bottom, I mentioned the price step. You can also use configuration for your price step, or you can set this for each specific category that you would like. So let's go ahead and save our category. Now let's go back to our site and see if we have layered navigation. And we do. We have price. Hey, what about our custom attributes? This was about setting custom attributes for your business so someone could filter by them. Well, now we need to go back and configure our custom attributes to allow them to be used within layered navigation. So we'll go back to Magento Admin. And this time we're going to select Catalog, Attributes, Manage Attributes. For this, we're going to use some of the shoe information that we set up in a previous demo about configuring custom attributes and attribute sets. So Let's set color, so we're going to open up an attribute, and to allow an attribute to be used in layered navigation, under front end properties, there is an option use in layered navigation. Yes, filterable with results, or filterable with no results. So for this, we're going to set filterable with results, so it will only display items that actually have results. We will save. Let's also set our shoe size. Again, we're going to go to Use and Layer Navigation, make it filterable with the results. And finally, let's set one more. Let's set one of our multi select. Because one of the things in Layered Navigation, there are only three types of um, attribute types that you can use in Layered Navigation, and that's drop down, multiple select, and price. So for our multiple select, we're going to actually make it filterable with no results. And we'll save this attribute. Now, let's go back to our site. Assuming we have simple products or configurable products that have these attributes set, which we know we do from previous tutorials. Go to my shoes cat category and refresh the page. And voila, we have all of our layered navigation over here on the left that we just configured. 
And if you'll notice with shoe style, we set this one to be filterable with no results. So we are seeing items that have results in our list and the items that don't. We have our shoe sizes. For instance, size 4 and size 10 aren't appearing because we have no results. The same is shoe color because we set these to filterable only with results. So we have a white and a brown and a few other colors in the system and those won't display over here. So that's it for enabling custom attributes on the out of the box Magento layered navigation. Hope this was helpful and thanks a lot for watching today. Stay tuned for additional tutorials on how to use custom attributes on advanced search. Feel free to reach out to us anytime.